Yet another incredible comeback between Duke and North Carolina, much as was the case in 2012, Mike, when down by 11 points with over four minutes to play, the Blue Devils mounted a rally and Austin Rivers won it at the buzzer. Did not have that last second buzzer beating kind of win, but still the kind of win that left the North Carolina fans in shock. Well, and here's what, and, and what happened too is you get a thin Duke team. Matt Jones goes down early in this game with an ankle, doesn't come back. So they're basically playing with five and a half players. And, uh, you know, it all started with, like, with, with Grayson Allen. I mean, he's been terrific all season long and uh, came up big in this game as well. Shooting, knocking down the threes, one of five for three, got to the free throw line, 23 points, seven rebounds, and a couple of steals for him. But then it was the freshman who came in, Brandon Ingram, a double-double for him, 20 points, 10 rebounds, and Luke Kennard also played big down the stretch. Those two combined for five of nine from three-point shooting in the second half. With so few options, foul difficulty, and yeah, the injury to Jones, as you mentioned it, one of the most satisfying wins perhaps that Kay has had, not only in this series, but in his career uh, in the ACC. This was quite a game for them to win, as depleted as they are. Now, where do they go from here, both teams? Well, and it's, you, you have to, if you're North Carolina, you have to shed this one quickly, and then Duke a quick turnaround going to Louisville at noon on Saturday. They hope Matt Jones heals quickly. That's the story from here, the first of the Battle of the Blues for 2016. For Mike Juminski, Tim Brando.